हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम ललित जैन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ओरिएंटल कॉलेज ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी भोपाल इन द सेकंड वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ डिजिटल सिस्टम डिजाइन वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द बेसिक्स ऑफ एनालॉग डिस्क्रीट एंड डिजिटल सिग्नल्स इन द थर्ड वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन टू नंबर सिस्टम द नंबर सिस्टम डिफाइन्स अ सेट ऑफ वैल्यूज used to represent the quantities majorly either in binary octal decimal duodecimal hexadecimal form etc as we communicate with each other in a particular language made up of letters or words we normally type the letters or words through keyboard of the computer but computer does not understand the words and letters rather those words and letters are translated into numbers or binary numbers further binary numbers can quickly become long and hard to transcribe without errors octal was used extensively in the earlier mainframe computer system their octal equivalents are much shorter and easier to remember one octal number is equivalent to three binary bits further the position of octal is taken by hexadecimal because it needs only one character for representing four binary bits there are few applications of hexadecimal number system like to define the locations in memory to define the colors on web pages to represent media access control addresses to display error messages also we use decimal number system in our daily life while dealing with money weight length etc now here let us start from binary number system it has radix or base 2 so it has only two independent digits that is 0 or 1 the binary number system can be written as 1010101 or 1001 for representing the number as a binary we need to put base 2 or base b in case of decimal number system it has radix or base 10 so it has 10 independent digits like 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 right from 0 to 9 for representing the decimal number system we need to keep 10 in the base of 4 7 8 or 3 4 instead of writing 10 as a base we also can write d as a base in case of octal number system it has radix or base 8 so it has 8 independent digits right from 0 to 7 for representing the octal number system we write 8 in the base of 4 by 5 6 and also in the base of 7 6 7 instead of writing 8 we also can write o as a base please understand that 8 is not a part of octal number system because the octal number system only supports the digits right from 0 to 7 so if i say that or if i ask whether the 856 is octal number or not so the answer is obviously not why because 8 is not a part of octal number as far as the hexadecimal number system is concerned it has radix or base 16 so it has few individual pendant digits like 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and after 9 for representing the 10 we need to have a for representing 11 we need to have b for 12 we should have c and for uh, 13 we are having d for 14 we are having e and for 15 we are having f so 7c 8f point 3c a is our hexadecimal number also 7c7 767c is also our hexadecimal number the place values of different digits in the integer part of the number are given by r to the power 0 r to the power 1 r to the power 2 r to the power 3 and so on starting with the digit adjacent to the decimal point for the fractional part these are r to the power minus 1 r to the power minus 2 minus 3 and so on again 
starting with the digits next to the decimal point. Here R is the radix of number system. Now here is the summary for number system. As you can see that for binary number system the base is 2 and digits are 0 1. For quaternary number system the base is 4, numbers are 0 1 2 3. For octal number system the base is 8 and the number in between 0 to 7. For decimal number system the base is 10, numbers are in between 0 to 9. For duodecimal number system base is 12 and the numbers are 0 to 9 and a b. For hexadecimal number system the base is 16 so the digits will be 0 to 9 and a to f. And let us say the system with the base 7, so in that case the base will be 7 and the number will be 0 to 6. Some important point which we also remember that 1 nibble is equals to 4 bits, 1 byte is equals to 8 bits, 1 word is equals to 16 bits or 2 bytes, double word is equals to 32 bits or 4 byte and bit is the smallest unit of data. So here is the table for uh, converting the particular binary number into decimal number. For that, as you can see, these are the bases of binary. 2 to the power 0 is basically representing LSB part of binary and 2 to the power 3 is basically representing MSB part. LSB stands for least significant bit and MSB stands for most significant bit. Let if you want to convert this number that is one double one triple zero into decimal. So you need to multiply bit by bit with its corresponding weight. For example, the weight of this zero is two to the power zero. Weight of this zero is 2 to the power 1, weight of this 0 is 2 to the power 2 and weight of this 1 is 2 to the power 3. So you need to multiply and add in this way so that you will be able to have 8 as a decimal number. So this is all about the introduction to number system. In the next video lecture, we will study about conversion of binary number system. Thank you.